Hey everybody. So I want to try to do a video that's kind of quick, but helps solve a really old problem that I'm still finding people run into uh, that applies to any Linux variant or especially Mac OS X. And it, it revolves around SSH. And a lot of the times, you know, no matching key exchange or ciphers or, or hashing algorithms that we're matching. There's a lot of stuff on the internet that talks about this. Some of it, most of it is absolutely correct, but I'm finding some people will do something and say, well, this didn't work for me, or they or they edit the wrong file and they're not understanding it. So I'm trying to just bring some clarity to it. So I'm gonna stop yakking and just get to the point. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and talk about right now the open SSH client. So you found this page because you know key, you, you got an error like key uh, no matching key exchange algorithm, no matching cipher or whatnot. This video will show you how to fix the problem in Linux, which also applies to Mac OS X. And I'll discuss the Mac OS X one just a little bit so that you, later on we get to it. Without further ado, like I said, we're going to talk about the Open SSH client. Now, this is the very first thing I want to differentiate. There are two parts to installing Open SSH on, on machines. You have the client and you have the server, or the daemon, as some people call it. Now, this here is just my virtual box. Right, it, it's I, I have a Windows host. I like to run Linux for a lot of different things, so I spin up a, a Linux Mint VM, and this is a client. I am never going to SSH into this guy. Uh, most people's personal computers be running, you know, Linux natively or in a VM. You hardly ever are going to SSH to that thing, so you will never really have a need to install the Open SSH server. So let's uh, show you the difference. So we're going to do an apt cache search open ssh dash anything okay what we see here there are two you have the client the client is what you use to ssh two things the server is when you want to have something that a machine that listens on port 22 for incoming connections so generally, servers that you're managing, you'll run OpenSSH server. Your, your machine generally, as a client, will just run the client. And these two files determine what config files are in slash Etsy. Now, considering all we have here is the client installed, you're going to see Etsy SSH. Let me just. Uh, What you're noticing is you see two files here, and there's a reason for this. I previously installed OpenSSH server to show so, to show that it would show up. Now I removed it, but unfortunately, removing it sometimes the config files don't go away. But as you'll see, I don't have the process running. Uh, in fact, uh, yes, you you see literally nothing running. OK, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going crazy. So yeah, nothing's running. All right, moving forward. You've got the error. Now what? There are two places you can fix the problem. The first place is globally. And you'll need to be root or use sudo to edit the file. Now, this is the file, ssh underscore config. This is global. This is for everything. Now, I just did an example of just the key exchange algorithms. Now, let's say that you wanted, let's say, you know, Diffie Hellman uh, Group One SHA One was the one that was missing. You could then come in here for the whole box. Now, this might be helpful if, say, you have a bunch of people logging into this box, and you just don't seriously feel like answering the question a million times. You can do this, and then it's global across the uh, across the box. Uh, but if you do that, uh, you know, simply this this won't be here, by the way. This is what you'll actually put in here. So you'll type in Kex algorithms. This is very important. You want the plus sign. And why? The plus sign says append these key exchange algorithms to the default key exchange algorithms that are bundled with this version of SSH. So 
you'll read some documentation that might be a little confusing that you might assume you have to do this, uh, excuse me, you know, add them each. No, don't do that. You just need to append it up there and you're good to go. And this applies to either the ciphers, if you needed to add different ciphers or different Macs, right? If you wanted to, you know, I wouldn't recommend modifying these. I would just recommend maybe creating your own with obviously the plus sign to append to default. But we're not going to do this because I'm the only one that's ever going to log in here. And I don't, I just would rather not. All right. So you're asking, what are the defaults? Real quick, sure, let's just do this, man ssh config. Let's go look at kex algorithms. The default is these guys, right? And if, and if you want to know what options are available, follow this line right here. And I'll show you how to just real quick, kex. These are your available options that this version of OpenSSH supports. What about ciphers? Hmm. Let me take a look here. Sorry about that. I thought I knew what that was. Whoops. Uh, cipher. Was that close? These are the list of available supported ones. And once again, go back in here. You'll see these are your supported. These are your defaults. And honestly, the same goes for Max too, right? Here's your default list. And once again, you can do dash cap Q Mac to get the list of supported. So we're just going to focus on maybe the, the key exchange algorithms for whatnot. Now, let's we've looked at doing it globally, but if you don't want to mess with that file, you'd rather just do something that's more local that you would you can edit yourself without having to go into root. That's where you're going to look for your .ssh directory. Now. If you don't have a config file in here, as a lot of you won't, you'll just have known hosts, just do a touch config, hit enter, and you're good to go. It'll be a blank file. But this isn't a blank file. As you'll see, begin the line. Now, I'll go over this one in a second. But let's just, for right now, we're going to say host all hosts, right? And then for all hosts, we want to append these key exchange algorithms to the default of the system. This way. It's, it works, but you're in control of the file. You're not modifying it in the global file. But let's say you have, it's a box you have access to, but you don't have root access or, or, or you're not in the, in the pseudo wheel. Uh, so this is how you then can control this to allow you to simply um, add these new key exchange algorithms, ciphers, or max. This is the preferred method. Now, what I was talking about here at the, at the host line, you could have, instead of for all hosts, Let's just say you knew you only had one host in the whole network. Uh, let's just say 172, 16, 16, 1. That was the only host that you needed this. You could do it granularly. And then, you know, if you need, an, if you need a, another host, right? Whoops. You could just then do another host line. And then, you know, do a kex algorithms plus and your values. Same thing here with max plus in your values, ciphers, plus, and then your values, right? But we're going to go ahead and not, you know, it's already done. This is your preferred method for, for configuring the SSH client, because you have control of it, especially in boxes where you don't have root access. And doing this will help you. Now, you're probably asking then, how do I find out if it works? Well, simple, just SSH to it. It should work now. And if it's not, just do a simple ssh-vv. VV, double verbose may give you the, the data, but double V will give it to you. Read carefully. You'll see what key exchange algorithms it's, uh, it, it, it's, uh, it, it has to offer. And then you can simply go from there. Now, if you're running, let's say, a version of OpenSSH, and you realize when you do, say, the SSH Q, uh, excuse me, hyphen, capital Q, and then let's say Kex, you realize that what they're, the Kex algorithm they're, they're offering isn't supported on your system, you may have to either look to upgrade or downgrade your version of OpenSSH. Now, my version of, of OpenSSH on this box is 72P2. Let's now move directly into talking about the Mac OS X. Mac OS X, especially in High Sierra, you guys are running 7.6, so slightly different defaults, slightly different supported uh, algorithms. Same thing in Mac OS X. Go to your .ssh, so print working directory here. Just do your home directory .ssh, 
If you, if you don't have a config file, same thing, touch it, go into it, put that, put what you saw here in there, save it, off you go. No need to restart the SSH service. Now that is fixing it for the client. Moving forward, if you needed, let's say you have a, now you have this problem and you have the host, let's say you have clients, it's vice versa, right? You have the, the clients that are offering it, but you want the, the host to be able to offer it because you know the host can offer it, it's just not in its default group. Well, it's, first let me go ahead and reinstall it. All right, so here we go. Um, as you see here, I am now listening on 22. And then sshd underscore config. Here are your supported, here's your defaults. Usually the daemon and the client version are, are technically going to just be the same. Um, Yeah, seven two. Yeah, you're hardly ever going to run it. I think it's it might it might be possible to run different versions, but I doubt it. If you had one, it's possible, but why would you do it? Uh, I'm sure someone has an answer, and it's probably valid, just from my perspective, right? So you need to come in and you need to configure this guy. So you just same thing. It's sudo vim etsy ssh, right? Ssh d underscore config now now as you see a lot more properties are, are, are in here a lot uh generally by default i want to say yeah key exchange algorithm isn't in here mac isn't in here and cypher is not in here so what you would just simply have to do is always at the always at the bottom of the file so much easier to manage key uh, you want to do kex algorithms and then once again, plus sign, because you want to append. Now, for the SSH daemon, the server, this is where you want to make the change, because it's a server. You need it to run all over. So an SSH for your open SSH server, you you want to edit the file as root uh, in vim or excuse me etsy ssh sshd config. Put your kex algorithms in here. Don't be an idiot like me and spell it correctly, because obviously we all know that Linux is case sensitive. And do the same, kex, ciphers, max, have fun with that, uh, and go from there. And it should all just work, even if it's SSHD. If for some bizarre reason you're having problems, you can just restart the SSHD service, but that's usually not required. And quit this, uh, apt get remove open SSH server, because I simply do not need that running, right? And that's it. That's exactly how you fix the problem. There's really not a lot to it, but a lot of confusing information on the internet for this. I talked about the client first, the daemon second, and that's just it, right? If you find that, let's say, you you know do the hail mary with it, and and you put all those in there and and try and it still doesn't work, it's very very likely that if you have access to the server you try to connect to, if you can perhaps then go to that server and see if it supports any of these. If you have root access, Adam, or maybe request ac or request from the admin the ability to do it, to add one of these, you know, whether it's a key exchange algorithm, whether it's a cipher or a Mac. So if you had to, if you're having that problem and you can't fix it on your side because it's just not, you know, there's some something strange, the available options aren't available to you, uh, and you know what I would do is simply re request from the admin, you know, the most secure version possible that he can support, and and go from there, and that should resolve your issues. And uh, I wanted to keep this under 15 minutes. I'm happy I did. Thank you for watching. I hope this solves your problem. Please leave a comment if I screwed something up. Please remember, be constructive, be nice. We're all here to help each other.